the, the sort of net effect of Trump relitigating the big lie once again in an election year, Claire, right? I mean, I, he in many ways poisoned the groundwater for American democracy. And, and it looks like he's going to take another turn at bat, if you will, on doing the same thing all over again, to use many mixed metaphors. When you hear that his intention is to try and drum up some sort of phantom evidence that the election was stolen, once again, how concerned does that make you as far as this broader American project? Well, if there was factual evidence that this election was somehow tampered with or stolen, we would have heard about it long before now. Um, I, and that's why I think public trials and public hearings, I think Hunter Biden was very smart to say, let's do my testimony in public. Every time they have tried to trot out something that was going to be damning, whether it was about the Biden family or whether it's about how the election was conducted, they failed. They have failed miserably. But you know why? Because they don't have the evidence. There is no evidence. If there were, all the cases that have already been decided would have been decided differently. So he may try to talk about the big lie in these cases, but there's a big difference between talking about it outside of court and even referring to it in pleadings. But lawyers have to be very careful about what theories they put forward. If they know they're not truthful, they can get in trouble. And obviously, if um, the guy that, that hangs out at Mar-a-Lago takes the stand, uh, he has to be careful. And so it, this, is, this is not as easy as it looks for him to try to just throw up the big lie as some kind of defense.